yesterday or the day before or whenever it was, I managed to get my grubby hands on a Sauron. Sauron is three cost, three power, on reveal, remove the abilities from all ongoing cards in your hand and deck. So the cards we have with ongoing abilities that are negative and we want to remove, we have Ebony Maw, we have Lizard, we have Typhoid Mary, and we have Red Skull. So this is a zero deck. We're running zero as a backup Sauron. That's right, I saying it in that order. Sauron is now the star of the show. And then we are just running some good cards to fill in the gaps. We have Titania because we have a couple, we have three five cost cards that we want to play on the last turn or close to the last turn. So we now have three one drops that can go alongside those three five drops. Uh, we have Shuri because Shuri's busted. We have Maximus because he's an on rate card and their cards aren't going to be larger than ours. Taskmaster to copy a big thing. Arrow to dictate the last turn and armor to protect our stuff if we get it down before Sauron because Sauron does not remove the ongoing abilities of cards in play. That's the plan. Play big things with downsides, remove downsides, protect, double, and dictate. That's kind of handy for our uh, Maximus if we, we should draw him. Also kind of dictates where they're playing things. Bong. Uh, let's spread out the love here. Just hit this Titania. And then we get to Shuri, our Typhoid Mary, question mark. Seems pretty good. You can lie down, you know. Oh. Oh, okay. Arm. We get to double Shuri, double Typhoid Mary? That seems pretty good. Oh. Maybe we're supposed to do this first. Do I care? I don't think I care. Hmm. So we want Shuri to go right. <laughs> if Shuri goes right, we're super happy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, bud. This seems just all good for us. Ah, oh, I shouldn't have snapped. I shouldn't have snapped, but you know, casual 40 power Typhoid Mary's gonna win you the game. I guess 39 power because they see each other, but. Plus one energy this turn. I can play armor a turn early. Okay. Uh, this hand is pretty darn good, actually. And we're not gonna play Ebony Maw because we have Sauron, so we can play him later with one of our five drops on turn six. And Sauron gets to remove the negative ability of Red Skull as well. Or hope that was worth it to them. Oh. This is just on reveal, right? So I can just play this middle and feel pretty safe. I would snap again if I could.
Oh yeah. Things are getting big over here. <laughs> sure. Play this here, win this. Let's see. Like, copy it, play this. So put 18 power here up to 21. Sure. We could beat that. <laughs> we can beat that pretty hard. Victory. Not sure about the game plan of playing Magneto into your lizard lane, but you know. I have played this person before. I recognize their name plus their name plus um title combo armitage can be good for shuri okay now that i drew ice man i'm gonna do this Again, we can draw them two cards because our cards are just larger than theirs, is the idea at least. Nightcrawler. Maybe I'll have room for this. Oh, I snapped too late. God bless America. Mr. Negative Surfer. So their Surfer is worse, notably. Now that they've nerfed it, I should say. Hmm, I really don't like that I could snap there. Ah. Uh, we could do, Let's see, if they add four here, they go up to 12, uh, and then they add four again, they go up to 16, this puts us to 20. Two, this puts us to 22, I should say. I should try and win all three lanes, right? like this is 17 this is adding seven so this is 15 and this is 20. oh the wong into the silver surfer on carmitage But, because he's been nerfed, we get the victory. Very lovely.
Hey, what's up? Gosh, what if you just play Titania into turn one Sinister London and make the game just completely weird? All right, so we want to draw armor next turn. You know, as far as Yondu hits go, we're okay with that. And if this is Death Wave, nope, just annoying cards, got it. All right, well, we have Typhoid Mary into Taskmaster into Red Skull, and they can all fit on Sinister London. Big numbers, big, big numbers. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this Taskmaster variant's great. Boosters on Shuri to split her, and I want to split her. Uh, no real reason to play zero right now. <laughs> oh, joy. <laughs> what? What a fun set of locations. What is their space throne? Magic! Oh, thank God. <laughs> thank you, opponent. We can uh, we can definitely do with a limbo. I am Iron Man. All right. So on turn seven, we definitely want to arrow them off of this location. Oh, come back. Victory. Baby, come back. <laughs> this this highlight's going to have just like a lot of unfinished games. Because people just look at your numbers and like, I, I can't be that. <laughs> Cards here with no abilities have plus three power. Pretty good for, for our deck that looks to remove abilities. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I can't say I blame you. Oh no, my armor. Zoran would be a great draw. Stop taking my stuff. All right. 
We'll let them draw two cards because our cards are better. And we've won the flooding. Gosh, they just like made our... Um, they just incidentally make... Uh, ooh. Just incidentally made... Uh, Maximus better. There we go. The words would come to me eventually. See, we have Arrow, Red Skull, and Maximus left in our deck. Maybe I'm not supposed to Shuri. Since I don't have, like, a great combo. Devil Dinosaur. They add five here from Doombot, we're fine. I'm just trying to think of how they win the Flooded. I just don't think they can. Then how many cards do I think they're playing this turn? Two? We think they're playing two cards this turn? How do they win? Oh, they only played one. Rats. Ah, Shang Cheese. They were goaded on the cheese. That'll do, pig. Um, so if I play Arrow and Titania mid, that's uh, 14, 19, so that's one short. If I play Typhoid Mary and Titania mid, we win? Because we go up to 25? Yeah, that's the winning play. Granted, like, I don't know they have Shang Cheese in their hands, but... It's probably, in their mind, obvious they're winning Asgard, so we should take that into consideration and just assume they're not playing here, because how am I going to beat 20 power? And then we just play both things here. Plus, this plays around Shang-Chi because there's a Cosmo here. So, yeah, that's, that's the winning play, I believe. All right, we have Sauron, we have Ebony Maw. Oh, yeah, hand's great. Doesn't do anything until turn three, and then it just pops off. Sauron, Typhoid, Mary, Red Skull, Taskmaster, Ebony Maw. And we can even use Nowhere to our benefit. All right. It's going to be a tough one. I just assume I can't win Mojo World against negative. Longers. Do I think 17 is enough to win mid? I think I need more than 18 over here. I think I need 33 to win left. These are these are the questions. You know, like black cat. Oh god, this is gonna be ridiculous, huh?
Hey, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Um, if I armor here, oh no, armor's dead. Never mind. To say I could armor to prevent a zero Zola from shooting a black cat across the board. That doesn't work. Let's see, two, five. Hey, thank you for the raid. Welcome, everyone. I am Marty Punker, and I think I'm about to lose to some ridiculous negative stuff. Okay. Okay. That doesn't do it, friends. Hey. They didn't have the uh, zero-cost Zola to shoot Black Panther across the board, so we got the victory. Hooray! Hmm. Are my Lizard and my Sauron about to be... Oh. Never mind. <laughs> well... And I can't play this because I want to play Sauron next turn. Oh, I'm ruined! Actually ruined. Okay, it's not that bad. And then we sure shuri into something very large. How large? Let's find out. Wow. Only six drops in hand, you say? the arrow trick is arrow gonna arrow hey what's up how you doing this fine Saturday morning That's good to hear. We're about to demonstrate why Arrow is the best card in the game. You know that feeling you had before um, Leader was... Oh... Huh. Oh. Didn't matter. Didn't even matter. <laughs> Magneto was close. Magneto was very close, but didn't matter. You know that feeling you had before Leader was nerfed? <laughs> Camera's still working. Ah. Fantastic. This hand's fine. We'll stay.
And then whether or not we draw Sora on this turn depends on which of these two we play. He's back. Uh, is that true? Moho. Oh, that's a that's a neat way to get around our ebony maw right there. Oh, okay. Hit Taskmaster at least. Oh, right. Heavy Maw. I was like, why can't I play here? I think my plan is to win Nidabler, um without filling it. <laughs> or to completely ignore it and let them just have their, their moment over there. I don't think I'm particularly worried about Shang-Chi from a Nightcrawler Iceman deck. Or not Shang-Chi, Killmonger. So if I play this here, I'm adding 20 to 28, so that doesn't even win, so we're not gonna bother with that. I think it's just Red Skull into Taskmaster. Much as I want a Shuri, because I love playing Shuri. I could also do this, which is adding less power to the right, like five less power to the right, but we're still at 20 over here, and it's adding three power here, so they need to get to 17. Um, if they drew Mjolnir in one draw, that's six, um, seven, eight, nine, ten. So they need to play two cards here that are seven power and also play Mjolnir and have drawn it. Yeah. Yeah, that felt pretty clean actually. If you like big numbers and playing busted cards like Arrow, this deck puts some of the most consistently big numbers in play. Not necessarily the biggest because there are decks doing some pretty ridiculous things, but at a base, I think this puts the, on average, largest number in play. And you're playing Arrow. And yeah, that's very true from chat. Arrow could be the smallest number you put in play and still be the best card you played. So, you know, you got that going on. Um, Shuri is ridiculous with cards like Red Skull. Like, this ongoing ability just doesn't even matter. Sauron was pretty clean. Um, yeah, Titania was the only card that felt awkward to me, but that's because I'm a noob and awful at playing her, so I blame me more than I blame her. And yep, that's that's the deck. That's that's a cool deck to play. Those are big numbers. There's not a lot of... There's obviously thinking about where you're putting your cards and all that, but there's not a lot of like counterplay built into this deck outside of armor, so... If you're looking to be linear and put big numbers into play, boom, done. Thank you for watching to the end of the video. These were highlights from my Twitch stream at MartyPunker.com. If you liked what you saw, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. I also have an open Discord with the link in the description below.
Catch you next time, snappers.